A keyset or corded keyboard is a computer input device that allows the user to enter characters or commands formed by pressing several keys together, like playing a chord on a piano. The large number of combinations available from a small number of keys allows text or commands to be entered with one hand, leaving the other hand free. A secondary advantage is that it can be built into a device that is too small to contain a normal sized keyboard. A corded keyboard minus the board, typically designed to be used while held in the hand, is called a keyer. Douglas Engelbart introduced the corded key set as a computer interface in 1968 at what is often called the mother of all demos. Principles of operation Each key is mapped to a number and then can be mapped to a corresponding letter or command. By pressing two or more keys together the user can generate many combinations. In Engelbart's original mapping, he used five keys, 1, 2, 4, 8, 16. The keys were mapped as follows, A equals 1, B equals 2, C equals 3, D equals 4, and so on. If the user pressed keys 1 plus 2 equals 3 simultaneously the letter C appeared. Since Engelbart introduced the key set, several different designs have been developed based on similar concepts. As a crude example, each finger might control one key which corresponds to one bit in a byte, so that using seven keys and seven fingers, one could enter any character in the ASCII C to Euro if the user could remember the binary codes. Due to the small number of keys required, cording is easily adapted from a desktop to mobile environment. Practical devices generally use simpler chords for common characters, or may have ways to make it easier to remember the chords, but the same principles apply. These portable devices first became popular with the wearable computer movement in the 1980s. Douglas Engelbart filed two new patents for mobile corded keyset devices and Tip Tap Mobile released a cording app for the iPhone with Douglas Engelbart in 2010. Thad Stanner from Georgia Institute of Technology and others published numerous studies showing that two-handed corded text entry was faster and yielded fewer errors than on a QWE or TY keyboard. Currently stenotype machines hold the record for fastest word entry. Many stenotype users can reach 300 words per minute. However, stenographers typically train for three years before reaching professional levels of speed and accuracy. History The earliest known chord keyboard was part of the five-needle telegraph operator station, designed by Wheatstone and Cook in 1836, in which any two of the five needles could point left or right to indicate letters on a grid. It was designed to be used by untrained operators, and was not used where trained telegraph operators were available. The first widespread use of a cord keyboard was in the stenotype machine used by court reporters, which was invented in 1868 and is still in use. But the output of the stenotype is a phonetic code that has to be transcribed later, rather than arbitrary text. In 1874, the 5-bit board telegraph code and a matching 5-key chord keyboard was designed to be used with the operator forming the codes manually. The code is optimized for speed and low wear. Chords were chosen so that the most common characters used the simplest chords. But telegraph operators were already using typewriters with QWE or TY keyboards to copy received messages, and at the time it made more sense to build a typewriter that could generate the codes automatically rather than making them learn to use a new input device. Some early key punch machines used a keyboard with 12 labeled keys to punch the correct holes in paper cards. The numbers 0 through 9 were represented by one punch. 26 letters were represented by combinations of two punches, and symbols were represented by combinations of two or three punches. Braille uses either six or eight tactile points from which all letters and numbers are formed. When Louis Braille invented it, it was produced with a needle holing successively all needed points in a cardboard sheet. In 1892, Frank Haven Hall, superintendent of the Illinois Institute for the Education of the Blind, created the Hall Braille Writer, which was like a typewriter with six keys, one for each dot in a Braille cell. The Perkins Brailler, first manufactured in 1951, uses a six-key cord keyboard to produce Braille output and has been very successful as a mass-market affordable product. Braille, like Bordot, uses a number symbol and a shift symbol, which may be repeated for shift lock, 
to fit numbers and uppercase into the 63 codes that 6 bits offer. After World War II, with the arrival of electronics for reading cords and looking in tables of codes, the postal sorting offices started to research Chordic solutions to be able to employ people other than trained and expensive typists. In 1954, an important concept was discovered, Chordic production is easier to master when the production is done at the release of the keys instead of when they are pressed. Researchers at IBM investigated cord keyboards for both typewriters and computer data entry as early as 1959, with the idea that it might be faster than touch typing if some chords were used to enter whole words or parts of words. A 1975 design by IBM fellow Nat Rochester had 14 keys that were dimpled on the edges as well as the top, so one finger could press two adjacent keys for additional combinations. Their results were inconclusive, but research continued until at least 1978. Doug Engelbart began experimenting with key sets to use with the mouse in the mid 1960s. In a famous 1968 demonstration, Engelbart introduced a computer human interface that included the QWERTY keyboard, a three button mouse, and a five key key set. Engelbart used the key set with his left hand and the mouse with his right to type text and enter commands. The mouse buttons marked selections and confirmed or aborted commands. Users in Engelbart's Augmentation Research Center at SRI became proficient with the mouse and key set. In the 1970s the funding Engelbart's group received from the Advanced Research Projects Agency was cut and many key members of Engelbart's team went to work for Xerox PARC where they continued to experiment with the mouse and key set. Keychord sets were used at Xerox PARC in the early 1980s, along with mice, GUIs, on the Xerox Star and Alto workstations. A one-button version of the mouse was incorporated into the Apple Macintosh but Steve Jobs decided against incorporating the corded key set. In the early 1980s, Philips Research Labs at Rodil, Surrey did a brief study into small, cheap keyboards for entering text on a telephone. One solution used a grid of hexagonal keys with symbols inscribed into dimples in the keys that were either in the center of a key, across the boundary of two keys, or at the joining of three keys. Pressing down on one of the dimples would cause either one, two or three of the hexagonal buttons to be depressed at the same time, forming a chord that would be unique to that symbol. With this arrangement, a nine-button keyboard with three rows of three hexagonal buttons could be fitted onto a telephone and could produce up to 33 different symbols. By choosing widely separated keys, one could employ one dimple as a shift key to allow both letters and numbers to be produced. With 11 keys in a 34 arrangement, 43 symbols could be arranged allowing for lowercase text, numbers and a modest number of punctuation symbols to be represented along with a shift function for accessing uppercase letters. While this had the advantage of being usable by untrained users via hunt and peck typing and requiring one less key switch than a conventional 12-button keypad, it had the disadvantage that some symbols required three times as much force to depress them as others which made it hard to achieve any speed with the device. That solution is still alive and proposed by FastApp and UnitApp among others, and a commercial phone has been produced and promoted in Canada during 2006. Standards Historically, the Bordot and Braille keyboards were standardized to some extent, but they are unable to replicate the full character set of a modern keyboard. Braille comes closest, as it has been extended to 8 bits. The only proposed modern standard, GKOS can support most characters and functions found on a computer keyboard but has had little commercial development. There is, however, a GKOS keyboard application available for iPhone since May 8, 2010, for Android since October 3, 2010 and for Mago Harmattan since October 27, 2011. Open Source Designs Three open source Kia key set designs are available the Picky Pico Second Slash 2 device based on the PIC microcontroller, the Spiff Chidera USB device based on the Atmel AVR family of microcontrollers, and the GKOS keypad driver for Linux as well as the GKOS library for the Atmel Arduino open source board. Plover is a free, open source, cross platform program intended to bring real time stenographic technology not just to stenographers 
but also to hobbyists using anything from professional stenotype machines to low-cost NKRO gaming keyboards. It is available for GNU Linux, MS Windows, and Apple Mac OS X. Joy 2 Cord is a corded keyboard driver for GNU Linux. With a configuration file, any joystick or gamepad can be turned into a corded keyboard. This design philosophy was decided on to lower the cost of building devices, and in turn lower the entry barrier to becoming familiar with corded keyboards. Macro keys and multiple modes are also easily implemented with a user space driver. Commercial devices One minimal Chordic keyboard example is Edgar Mesh's half cutty keyboard described in patent US 5288158 to circa 1992 that produces the letters of the missing half when the user simultaneously presses the space bar along with the mirror key. Indikai 93 published a study by Mesh's. Mackenzie and Buxton showing that people who have already learned a touch type can quickly recover 50 to 70 percent of their two-handed typing speed. The loss contributes to the speed discussion above. It is implemented on two popular mobile phones, each provided with software disambiguation, which allows users to avoid using the space bar. Multi-ambic keys for use with wearable computers were invented in Canada in the 1970s. Multi-ambit keys are similar to cording keyboards but without the board, in that the keys are grouped in a cluster for being handheld, rather than for sitting on a flat surface. Cording keyboards are also used as portable but two-handed input devices for the visually impaired. Such keyboards use a minimum of seven keys, where each key corresponds to an individual braille point, except one key which is used as a spacebar. In some applications, the space bar is used to produce additional chords which enable the user to issue editing commands, such as moving the cursor, or deleting words. Note that the number of points used in Braille computing is not 6, but 8, as this allows the user, among other things, to distinguish between small and capital letters, as well as identify the position of the cursor. As a result, most new accorded keyboards for Braille input include at least 9 keys. Touchscreen Chordic keyboards are available to smartphone users as an optional way of entering text. As the number of keys is low the button areas can be made bigger and easier to hit on the small screen. The most common letters do not necessarily require cording as is the case with the GKOS keyboard optimized layouts where the 12 most frequent characters only require single keys. Historical, the right-hander, a 12-key chord keyboard from Nuo Company appeared in 1978 issues of ROM magazine, an early microcomputer applications magazine. Another early commercial model was the six-button microwriter, designed by C. Enfield and Chris Rainey, and first sold in 1980. Microwriting is the system of chord keying and is based on a set of mnemonics. It was designed only for right-handed use. The BAT is a seven-key hand-sized device from InfoGrip, and has been sold since 1985. It provides one key for each finger and three for the thumb. It is proposed for the hand which does not hold the mouse, in an exact continuation of Angel Bart's vision. Modern, modern examples of corded keyboards include Tip Tap Speech, the GKOS keyboard, the Frog Pad, the Intended Method, the Icar Pad, Text Faster and Hot Typer. Some of them are intended for tiny tablet computers and wireless mobile terminals, many of them are additionally available as apps on Apple's iOS devices. See also the on-screen virtual key set at Tiag Labs. Chris Rainey, the co-inventor of MicroWriter, reintroduced MicroWriting for PC and Palm PDAs with a standalone miniature cording keyboard called C-Key which caters to both left and right-handed users, being nine keys. C-Key is named after the MicroWriter Chord Systems co-inventor C. Enfield, who died in 1995 but the name also reflects its intuitive nature. The GKOS is a six-key keyboard with a different signs and commands allocation of the 63 different chords in order to provide all PC keyboard functions and to make entering letters and numbers lighter by having to press fewer keys simultaneously. The six physical keys are intended to be on the back of the device and to be operated with the six free fingers of two hands holding the device. Another option is to have virtual GKOS keys positioned towards the sides of a touch-sensitive screen. 
This so-called GKOS thumbs has additional keys to enable all combos by only one key press per hand. GKOS iPhone, Android phone tablet and Mago Harmattan applications use this principle. The Ikar Pad is a 12-key corded keyboard operated with the four fingers of one hand. It is supported on the thumb. With the nine main keys two prefix keys and one delete key, the Ikar Pad can produce all the input of a standard Kuti keyboard with one, two, and a few three-finger chords. For some characters one or two prefix chords are required. Nine main keys can produce a total of 511 chords. With each of the three fingers limited to its own row, 229 chords are possible with three fingers. A car pad uses 66 of these accessible chords. One and two finger chords produce about 85% of American English. With an additional prefix chord about 97%. In addition, the Icar pad can store 100 text strings and 100 keyboard shortcuts. Like many other corded keyboards, it can be used with one hand. The frog pad is a 20-key corded keyboard about the size of a numeric keypad that can be used with one hand, and is optimized by character frequency. 85% of average keystrokes in English text can be typed without cording, and chords are limited to two fingers. The IN10DID method is a 10-key limited chord system that places one key under each finger in order to utilize all of them, however only two are needed for any operations. Each key is essentially a shift key so that with 10 keys, there are 10 single strokes and 92 finger key strokes. The alphabet is produced with a single press or by shifting with a thumb. Changing modes, such as number lock, can make other input provided with a single key stroke. This avoids complex chords while providing enough keystrokes for efficient typing and allows for some unique implementations such as typing with gloves. A video game controller called the X-Skin, using this system, was expected to be commercially available by 2010 to help make MMORPGs popular on console systems and ease entry of common data such as a username and password, but announcement of its release was available on the intended website as of March 4, 2012. The system can also be applied in a single hand configuration or as one key at a time if needed. Claimed advantages of the IN10DID method are the diversity of devices, limited motion and simple chords. The Twiddler is a fully featured 16-key keyboard designed to fit in the palm of one hand. It was originally introduced in the early 1990s by Handikey and is currently being produced by Tech Gear. It is popular among wearable computer researchers and hobbyists due to its ease of use, large community of users, and active support by the manufacturer. Every single and multi-key chord on the Twiddler can be customized by the end user. The Twiddler comes standard with an A, B, C, D chord set, with tab space and other chord sets available. Chords are not limited to single key strokes, multiple key strokes can be sent with a single chord press. An example of this is an email address or address block can be typed by pressing just one chord. The efficiency gained by using multi-character chords have novice Twiddler users typing at 47 WPM while experts can burst up to 130 WPM. Astneop is a virtual keyboard based on chords that appeared in 2012. The alphabet uses the eight keys of the home row as ASET and NIOP, plus 18 corded combinations. The layout also makes a less cluttered 10-button keypad for tablet computers, touch screens, touchpads, and can be used in wired gloves. See also, BAT keyboard, cording, frog pad, Kia, micro writer, palantype, stenotype, velotype syllable chord keyboard, references. Bardini, Thierry, Bootstrapping, Douglas Engel Bart, Coevolution, and the Origins of Personal Computing. Chapters 2 and 3, ISBN 0 8047 3723 1, ISBN 0 8047 3871 8, Engel Bart and English, a research center for augmenting human intellect, AFIPS Conf. Proc, Vol 33, 1968 Full Joint Computer Conference, P395 410, Lockhead and Clemmer. An Evaluation of an Eight-Keyword Writing Typewriter, 
IBM Research Report RC180, IBM Research Center, Yorktown Heights, New York, November 1959. Rochester, Bequet, and Sharp, The Chord Keyboard, IEEE Computer, December 1978, P57-63, Sable, Data Entry Devices and Procedures, in Human Engineering Guide to Equipment Design, Van Cotton Concad, 1963.